Well, hello, hello, everyone. Thank you for joining another episode of The Exchange Show. I am your host, Bertha Oxendine, and I thank God we are all here together again today for The Exchange Show. Like and share and invite someone to watch with you live right here on Facebook or YouTube. And don't forget, you can always watch this episode on um, Roku TV the following week. And all the links you're going to need, including how you also can be in, in our networking community. They'll be listed on the description in the video, okay? So here at the Exchange Show, we have I have the awful, awful, awesome privilege, getting tongue-tied here, I have the awesome privilege of talking to some of God's gifted authors and then hearing about their story. So I would like you to support the authors by purchase, purchasing a copy of their book and then sharing the show information on all of your social media platforms. So if each one helps one, then we'll all be successful. So just a little bit about me, myself, I am Berthana Oxendine. I am a certified life coach. I am an encourager, a pastor, a mother, and an international best-selling author. So today we have a special guest, and her name is Miss Courtney Ross. So I'm I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that completely correct. But we're bringing her to the stage. And she Good can morning. Back to who she is. God bless you. So glad to have you with us today. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. And will you please tell, pronounce your last name again. Tell them who you are. Um, yes, ma'am. So my last name is Racho. Um, it's like Nacho, but with an R. Okay. It's, right. it's literally how my husband describes it so um we've had all kinds of weird pronunciations of our name so well i hate uh, to mess up somebody's name so that's why I said, it's okay. told me it's, what it was but that quick i had got it all mixed up but tell happens. us a little bit about yourself um so i am uh, a wife and a mom um i and then beyond that, I'm a number of things. Um, I am an author, um, but I own a bookkeeping business and um, I volunteer in very various aspects in my community and part of a, a networking group for uh, military vets. And um, I help uh, women here in New Braunfels with uh, a group called Connect. Mm -hmm. And so um, I'm a person with many things and many plates. <laughs> so you you have you're wearing a lot of different hats, and I'm quite sure you're all you're good at each one of them because this book, her book is called the ABC, the Bible edition, ABC, the Bible e edition, and it's wonderful. It's wonderful. <laughs> well, Tell us you. something about your book. Yes, ma'am. Um, so I, um. Um, I apologize. I um, started this process. Um, let's see here. It's been a number of years ago and it actually started off as a completely different book. Okay. Um, and a, like it was not an alphabet book whatsoever. It was a, a different book with a different storyline altogether. And I every time I sat down to study for it or do anything remotely related to it, I just I couldn't. Like it just, it wasn't coming to me. Um, and then uh, I had my child and she is now um, six years old, but at the time she had just turned five and um, with little kids, they're learning the alphabet, they're learning Bible stories, you know, all the things. And so when I sat down to do it, um, like the idea was still there, but like the, um, the push to actually get it done wasn't right. And okay. then I met my friend, uh, Chelsea, who is the founder of connect, um, okay. which I can tell you more about if you want, but, uh, she's a founder of connect and I sat down with her and I'm like, look, I want to write a book 
but I don't know where to start <laughs> or, <laughs> or even how to get myself in gear to, to do it. And, you know, she looked at me, she's like, Courtney, you just got to do it. You just got to sit down and write something. I'm like, okay, <laughs> um, we shall see how this goes. Um, and so I did, I was like, okay, look, we're going to write an alphabet book. We're going to write, you know, I have a five-year-old, you know, I, you know, what's more important than the alphabet. Um, and so what started off as doing um, the, I wanted, what I wanted to do was connect the alphabet with the Bible and bring the Bible into homes where the Bible would not necessarily be welcomed. Yeah. And so what I did was every, the original intent was every letter was going to be a different person in the Bible. Okay. And uh, I ran into problems um, with um, stories <laughs> that could be shared to a five-year-old. Um, and so I was like, well, that's not going to work. <laughs> mm -hmm. So um, I was like, well, fine, we'll just do different stories in the Bible. And so we've got people, we've got places, we've got um, mm -hmm. lessons that are learned, um, tools that were used, um, different things like that. And so there's not, um, no story is shared twice. Right. And, um, and then after that, um, it's a children's book and Jesus was very big on, you know, letting the children come to him and letting the children know that he loves them and wants to spend yeah. time with him. And so I, I put in a lesson about how ch Jesus loves the children mm -hmm. and, and sharing the gospel. And then we put the Romans road in, um, in there as well and explain salvation to a five-year-old. Well, I, I, I believe it's awesome. I was reading through it and I said, Oh my goodness. This is great. It's really just into to me was introducing children mm -hmm. to the Bible. Yeah, and and that's the intent. Scriptures in there. Yeah, that's the intent. So the book, like I said, it's it's meant to bring the Bible into families mm -hmm. that either don't own a Bible or are not interested in a Bible, and it's to get those um, those little kids to to ask mom and dad, "What is this?" but it also gives the tool for mom and dad to go and look it up. That's what I love so much about it also. And then they're also learning their ABCs. Yeah. <laughs> and big words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I, I, and I was reading through it and uh, I, I love the way that you, like you said, you had different characters in there in places and you explained the story but you don't overwhelm them. It's just enough to, I feel, to let them, make them curious. Right, exactly. Yes, ma'am. Um, and we actually, so that was published. So like I said, we started, I started, uh, sat down with Chelsea um, in December, the first week of December mm -hmm. of 2022 is when I was like, okay, this is what we're going to do. And I had set a date that I'm like, okay, I want this done by my birthday, done and published and, and everything. My birthday just passed a week ago. So Ooh. I got the birthday done, or I got the book done in four months. Okay. Written, that is illustrated and published mm -hmm. in four months. And um, we had... Um, once I had most of the writing done or the, the plan done of like, these are the stories that are going to be in there. Um, I reached out to um, a friend of mine who was a teacher uh -huh. and was uh, at the time a high school principal. And I was like, look, I need an artist. I need somebody to help me here. And her daughter, um, a teenager and loves to draw. And so I was like, do you think she can get it done in a month? <laughs> and I was like, in a month? <laughs> While doing school, mind you. And she, uh, she was homeschooled at the time. And um, she got, what is that, 26, 28, plus the cover, 29 images um, drawn and colored 
um, ready for publishing in a month. So um, she wanted an entry into the art world to see well, where she, she did an excellent job. Well, thank you. I will pass that on. <laughs> it was an excellent job, but I just like the way, you know, God orchestrated all of this, you know, that he placed in your heart to want to write a book, which didn't just benefit your child, but look at so many others that this book is going to bring the Bible into, you know, into their lives. Because for those that can't even read yet, um, the parents, it causes them to be to read to the child and introduce right. Absolutely. You know, to them. Yeah. Um, I, uh, when we did our book launch or when the book came out, I had a number of people, uh, we did a big push for the book to become a bestseller um, on Amazon and we didn't quite reach it. But uh, just because the children's book world is so difficult to get um, bestsellers out there just because that that world is just so flooded um, with books, which is a good thing, but it, it's very flooded <laughs> with books. So it's hard to <laughs> be number one. Um, and uh, anyways, I was hearing back from parents in the school that my daughter was in and uh, saying, I, I didn't know about this story or I had forgotten about this story. You know, parents that are in a, that have their kids in a Christian school that are learning these Bible stories, mm -hmm. but the parents themselves may not know the story. Right. And so it's, again, it's bringing the gospel into the house, into the home. So that's why you had to write this book. Like you said, you was trying to do something else, but so God always has that plan in place and the right person to be able to do it. I love your wording, the way you introduce the different characters and places in your book that and then gave backup, you know, right. in the way backup scriptures uh, in the word of God. And uh, which to me would cause a parent to, let me check this out. Let me look a little further. <laughs> like, let's let's see what you're learning about. You know, in, in our world, you have to be you have to question what your kids are watching. Like yes. right now, my daughter's over there and um, I have an idea of what she's watching because I can kind of hear it. But I'm like, no, we're going to turn it to this, <laughs> you know, <laughs> so, uh, you know, you have to you have to monitor what they're watching and, and being able to to bring a book into homes that you don't have to question, you know? And, and then also something that comes to mind, I mean, I have my, all my, my grandchildren are older now. Well, you know, they're still in school. I think the youngest one is 11 years old. I can take this and play a game with them and quiz them. And you know, oh, yeah. quiz them from the book. <laughs> oh yeah. Are you going to be like, where and, was, yeah. where was Peter in the boat? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. Or when, if you're in the Bible and you think of the letter C, what comes to mind? You know, things like right. that, you know. Or if you think of the letter A, what do you think about in the Bible? Right. And uh, so I think it, it'd be an awesome job. Because sometimes they get older, you know, they may not have time. to. They, everybody's on their phones or their, uh, right. uh, or something like that. But this would be a time to take that break. And say let's let's quiz a little bit. Yeah. Even for the older Absolutely. children, grandchildren. Get them all in on high it. <laughs> what uh, we're gonna do right here, uh, we're gonna take a quick break and then okay. we'll be right back. All right. Today's sponsor is Open Door Tabernacle Training Center, a church of love. They are located at 522 Wilson Avenue, Johnson City, Tennessee. You are welcome to join each Sunday at 11 a.m. For more information, you can email them at odttc1 at gmail.com. Well, welcome back. We have our special guest, Miss Courtney Rocho, Rocho. Rocho with us today. And she, her book, uh, the Bible edition, A, B, and C Bible edition. And I'm telling you, it's really wonderful. Um, what else do you have to tell us today? What would you What would you like our audience to to take from purchasing this book? Uh, what 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 else would you like to say to them today? Um, you know, I uh, 
the book, like the sales itself, like it's, we, yeah. we did it through self-publishing through Amazon. Um, you know, a lot of people there, they're all about the money. And yes, I track the sales, you know, cause I'm a bookkeeper, <laughs> but, um, you know, it's, it was never about the money for me and it still yeah. isn't, you know, um, last year we did, we did okay with sales, but for me, it's always been about getting it into the homes, you know, immediately once I, once I started, uh, published this and got the, got away from like all the hype of this book. I'm like, okay, what can I do next? You know, and I had, well, you have ABC. Why don't we do one, two, three? And again, I've gotten nowhere with it. And so <laughs> I focused on my alphabet book and we got it uh, translated into Spanish. And oh, so great. it's now in the Spanish language um and um i'm working on other languages and getting it into um other homes um mm -hmm. i've got my next project i've got it all um what do you work how do you word it um translated into mm -hmm. that language but that language with my publisher it's not available in book form it's available in the kindle form and so i have to now learn how to format things into the Kindle edition. And okay. so before that can be published. Um, so right now it's just a matter of, you know, finding out which countries, which languages um, we need to get the book out to. And what a way of witnessing. Right. What a way of evangelizing, <laughs> you know, to a, a, a child. You're a five year old. You get yes. out there. But, you know, it made me think of that scripture that says, suffer little children to come unto me, forbid them not mm -hmm. for such is the kingdom of heaven. And you're starting with the children and which right. is going to turn around and affect the parents. That's what I believe. Well, yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I can't remember where it is off the top of my head, but, you know, it talks about, you know, having that childlike faith. Right. Yeah. And, and believing like a child. Mm -hmm. and, yes. You know, and just. Um, I don't know, just for me, it's just trying to imagine three people in a fire and not being consumed. That would just like blow my mind as a five year old. And I'm just like, but did that really happen? <laughs> and, you know, and um, just all of all of the different stories, you know, um, my favorite. I don't know, I was sitting here trying to think of which one was my favorite, you okay. know, and I don't know if that was a question that you had on your thing, but like, I'm like, okay, I, I'm going to share this <laughs> if yes, it's okay with you. Yes, um, so 2023, uh, most people say 2020 was a bad year or a rough year, a challenging mm -hmm. year. Um, 2023 was that for me um, okay. uh, on a number of fronts, personally and um, professionally. And um, you know, in the midst of writing the book and and all the other things going on in my life, um, I resonated the most with Peter mm -hmm. and just having that that faith of of stepping out into the water and not knowing if I'm going to drown. <laughs> and because, you know, it seemed like every move we made last year is just like it's either we sink or float. You know, yeah. it, there, there's no in between. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know, like at any time I come across a challenge this year and we've got a bunch of them. Um, I just I'm constantly reminded of Peter and just having to have that faith of just stepping out and mm -hmm. and trusting. And, you know, this entire project was that, you know, not knowing if it would be received mm -hmm. um, and received well, you know, um, or if it would even, you know, do, do anything except mm -hmm. flounder, you know, um, like even now, like the next project that I'm working on, it's not a kid's project. It's, it's helping women, um, in, in different aspects of, um, adult life and transitioning into adult life. Um, I'm like, okay, 
but I'm not qualified for this. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not qualified for this. And every time I turn around, the Lord puts me in positions and places of, well, you're qualified enough for this and this will get you where I want you to be for the next step. And I'm like, okay, I can do that. I can do this. <laughs> yes. Cause you know, God wouldn't play. I don't feel like he would place that in your heart like that to give you that compassion for that. If he's not, he's always there to help guide us through. And he right. always has went ahead of us and prepared the way for us because he right. is our way. So I, I just believe you're going to, since he's placed it in your heart, he's going to be the one to take care of it. The same way he's done with this wonderful book. Right. <laughs> So right. he, he's, he's, you know, he's already gone ahead of you and prepared the way um, because I've always, our apostle reminds it's not us doing it no way. It's going to be him doing it. We're just the vehicle right. he's using to do it through. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. Um it's going to be awesome. Just say the next one's going to be awesome. Yes. Say, well, awesome. Yes. No, I mean, mine, you know, the next project, it's in the very baby stages, very okay. baby stages. Okay. And so like, I, like I've reached out to, um, and I'm receiving help from the person I consider my mentor. Mm -hmm. And, um, and she's, she's been a huge blessing and it's just trying to, kind of navigate what I want versus okay. what the Lord wants, you know, mm -hmm. and what I can actually accomplish and do. And so, um, you know, I'm constantly learning and constantly seeking out what, you know, where I need to be like, you know, okay. personally and um, spiritually and, and professionally, you know, mm -hmm. and just, figuring out how I can, where I can volunteer, where I can help, mm -hmm. um, where my skills can help. Mm -hmm. And um, a lot of times I forget to even say that I'm an author because it just, it's literally just a project, a passion project that I had, you know, it's just yeah. like, oh, I wanted to make this book. Mm -hmm. And like it, for the longest time, it took me a hard time to say, oh yeah, I'm a book author. <laughs> I'm a children's well, author. Somebody, you're a book author, it's okay. <laughs> Because you are I'm getting better at it. I'm getting better at it. But at first, it was just like, wait, oh yeah, yeah I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, you are. And this, and this, yeah. I have to say, I believe it's an excellent book, and I highly recommend people to purchase it. Um, and then I'm thinking myself as being a grandmother, purchasing it for my grand, my my children are on because I have grandchildren, giving it to my grandchildren. You know, yeah. and uh, then also gifting other people's. Yeah, you know, it's a great. Gift. Our Those that you know that are not that are not going to church or not in Christ, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, this I think it's wonderful. So I thank mm -hmm. God He used you to write this book. It's just the way you have it written and the wording. It's just, it's just God. I thank you for listening to Him and doing um, and, and writing the book. And so it's time is drifting away from us. So, is any last remarks you would like to say to our audience before we wrap this up? Um, no, not that I can think of. Um, I would say, uh, you know, I have a Facebook page, uh, okay. that I can, I can give you the link to. Um, and right now I'm, um, trying to kind of transition that into sharing books that I have either found helpful okay. or, uh, for personal growth, not necessarily children related but like personal growth or like things um, that have helped me in my walk. Um, and so I'm sharing a, at least a book a day um, on there of different books that I've read. Um, mm -hmm. I plan to share other children's books as well. So um, I would just say, if you could follow that and, and share that, that would be tremendously yeah. helpful because that would be what I use to share the next steps of what okay. I'm going to do. Well, I do see that going across our screen, they do have where they can purchase your book through Amazon, as you said. So mm -hmm. I really thank you for being with us today. Um, yes, so, I am. Uh, and I just wish you, 
Uh, I'm just saying, I, I pray great success for you on the next project that God has you working on. And I thank God for this project that he had mm -hmm. you to do to write this book. So everyone, that's going to be a wrap for this episode of the Exchange Show. We again want to thank our guest, uh, Mrs. Courtney Racho. Yes. Uh, for joining us today. <laughs> and to remember to grab a copy of that book. Uh, it would really be a blessing to you um, and, and then sharing it with someone else as yes, well. Yes. And invite someone to join us here on the Exchange community uh, also. So until next time, I am Berthana Oxendine, and I pray abundance upon each of you. And I look to see you next week for another episode of the Exchange Show. Blessings to you. Bye.